Just leave it. Maybe. We'll see if it goes. Oh, did it work? Can you guys see us? Yeah, we're live. Yay! And then how do I do this gimbal? Just hit power. Oh, this isn't... I don't let know go, how to... Oh, let go, gosh, let go, guys. Let go, Sorry, let go. guys, we're going on a gimbal ride. Going on a gimbal ride. Hey! Oh, look at that beautiful ceiling. Look at the ceiling. Wow, gimbal ride. Wow, a great ceiling. Oh, my God. No, I love, I love Winnie the Pete. No, we are, we're about to take something. There we go. But right, we're, the, we're live the now. Yes, we are. We're going to go see Winnie the Pooh. And... He's also the uh, Trevor is the voice of Launch Pad. Yes, launch pad. I know, I'm a yes, fan. I know. Me too. Yeah, Why? I, I can grew tell. up with DuckTales. No, but DuckTales. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got oh, my yeah, shirt. I see you wear that. <laughs> it is a Jafar oh, statue oh, you can purchase. Me. I got it signed. It says to Maria, Jim Cummings. That's cool. And I asked him, what is your favorite poo saying? And he said, honey. And I said, obviously. <laughs> 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 I was like, obviously. Oh, but that's so cool. Oh, cool. Are you heading over to the... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm, I'll see you in there. <laughs> I'll right. see you in there. Bye. So cool. Hey, guys. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. We are live here at House of Mouse Expo. Yes. And this is our shop. Yes. I realize I didn't tell you what's going on. Yeah. We, don't even, we didn't even tell what's going on. This is our shop today, guys, here at the House of Mouse Expo. It's to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. So I'll put the link. I forgot. Okay. There was so much excitement. This is the first moment. I'm going to turn you guys and turn fun. you back. Um, and uh, join us because we're going to go see some panels of celebrities and more. Oh, it's not squared. How's everybody doing? Is it working? Yeah, but it's just not squared. Square. Like it's slightly tilted. That means it's hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it off. No, no, no guys, so it's not gonna work. Yeah, we no, have we're to, gonna have to go for. A, you have to turn it off oh, first. Everybody's vomiting right now watching. And we have to go for <laughs> a gimbal ride. Everybody's like, Bleh. wow, this is a fun gimbal ride. <laughs> now we don't have the best service in here, guys, so we're doing the best we can. What Let is us know. going on with this gimbal? That's the new one. It's the new one. Yeah, this is the new one. It's a new gimbal. This is high tech. All right, let's try it one more time. Well, here, so you have to fix. I see what the problem is. It's not centered. It's not centered. Oh, yeah, those ones it's are not centered. finicky with the beam. So, centered. here, put it. I need it. How do you get it? Uh, this way. Huh. Okay. There. And then, well, I need you to hold it. I need you to hold it. Hold on. Okay. Oh, wow. There we go. All, oh, it's still. <laughs> here, I'm going to give it to you. You figure it out. No, no, because I have to. One second. There you go. Hold it for a second. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Okay, show them around, Chris. Show Hi, around. guys. So this is our booth here at, are we, why is it tiny sized? Is it tiny sized? <laughs> Wait, is it tiny sized? Turn your phone. Wait, is it tiny sized is it guy? Tiny? No, I see it like this. Yeah, that might be my phone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, turn back. No, oh. it's still tiny on your phone. Okay, well, maybe, Wait, maybe okay. it's just your phone. Here, show phone Picture phone. is tiny, they say. Picture is tiny. Tiny! Can't see with small screen. Picture <laughs> is tiny. What is going on? What? Okay. Well, mine looks okay. Why does everybody else it, is? Tim says it looks fine. Oh. Can't see with small screen. Oh, it's very tiny. <laughs> so, wait, what does that mean? Is that a, what? That, that's going to be a YouTube glitch. Is that a YouTube glitch? Okay. I changed the camera. How did that even happen? Chris, it was tiny, but if you refresh, it fixes it. So now oh, we're okay. now I did it, changed it to wide angle. Um, well, that doesn't make it bigger. It just makes this. It's super small. Oh, Juliana saying, Let's "See, Juliana, Hello. refresh, Juliana." We okay. We miss you regular. Yeah. Hey, regular. Refresh. Yeah. Everybody refresh. Everyone refresh. Because that wasn't us. That was a YouTube glitch. Everyone refresh. Um. Well, that's. Very funny. Well, that's Christina Thanks. hanging out at a shop. Yes, Christina, El Baby Crew. And there's Maria. And uh, show them the shop now that they can see it in a non tiny, in a non tiny format. So this is our shop, guys. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. And we are live on YouTube right now. So hello, everyone. We are live at the House of Mouse Expo. Maria just met Jim Cummings, the voice of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Raymon and much of others uh but yeah so this is our shop we have some uh, fun stuff like 
our brand new Journey Into Imagination heathered hoodie. We have some fun friends wearing our, sh our stuff as well, our shirts. And we have our Happily Ever After shirt on display. All this stuff, guys. 720 full screen. Thank you, Jason. Much better, Ju says Juliana. Thanks. <laughs> so the House of Mouse Expo is a small uh, convention. They've only been here for two or three years. Uh, and it's actually really cool. Uh, we're right across from Got Caricature and look at some of that fun stuff that we have there as well. But this is... wearing the Sorcerer Mickey shirt today. I know, and I was like, oh my god. Total babe. Oh, looks right. awesome. I know, it looks amazing. Thank you. I know, I was like, does it fit? Like, yeah. Oh, obviously, amazing. Um, and Carson's one of our cast members. So send cast compliments to Carson. What would it be? No, we actually have a yeah. record of 1,500. <laughs> really? Yes, 1,500 cast compliments in a single day to somebody. What is your um, name on your... Um, it should just be Carson, Carson. Adams. Yeah. Carson, and what would be the uh, city? We have one Baton left, and it's okay. right up there. Guys, send cast compliments. <laughs> That's our last to Carson one that we have. With Baton Rouge, okay. Animal Kingdom um, Lodge. Yes. yes. I'll make sure. I'll put it. I'll say it. I'll put it behind right now. Carson, you have I'm no problem. To go with the contest this <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. I was like, there's a contest. Oh, so cool. I was like, I'm actually coming to get this. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> John says that shirt is fantastic. It is oh, it's fantastic. fantastic. It's fantastic. She like put it on this morning. I was like, I'm gonna. Well, I mean, again, I take a lot of pride. We have the coolest shirts, but it also helps. You guys are so cute. Um, well, Chrissy, I'll have you. I'll hold this while you sure. um, ring our our new friends up. And forgive me, what is your name again? Roxanne. 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 Just like a good one. I love it. I love it. Oh, the new gimbal kind of is not good. <laughs> so our new gimbal not good. Oh gosh, Chris. Well, we're gonna try it this way. Uh, now, what's your favorite thing you've done so far today? Today, um, today's shopping day, so we went and got a bunch of patches. We're gonna have oh, a, I love it. A jean jacket craft day. Ooh, that's a great way to do it. You wanted to do patches, didn't you, one time? You were like, we should do patches. Yeah. Patches. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So many things. By the yeah, way, yes. you guys can't see oh, this, but I have to hold the gimbal like so this to get it to got, work. No, the only way to get it to work right now. Oh, yeah. So this is the thing we just did. Okay. You might win a free shirt. You might win a bucket hat. What's she going to win? Oh, you were so close to the free shirt. Okay. All right, so we're going to give you, give you a 10%. So we make a personalized coupon code. So yes. if you ever go to the site, it is there for you forever. What was your name? I'm sorry. Roxanne. Roxanne. R-O-X-A-N. Oh, wait. We can't have everybody hear the coupon code. Hold on. <laughs> so, so this is more of the booth. No, because they'll hear the coupon code and use Roxanne's coupon code. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. The, se the secret. The secret is safe, Roxanne. Your secret is safe. <laughs> I was like, no, don't. I love it. Um, uh, cash yeah. Car. As I put it away. Oh, how fun! And this is another really cool vendor over here. Um, he makes incredible. I love it. It says "Got Caricature." You get it? Got Caricature. So cool. Thank you well, so Carson, much. you have our card I and our can. Tag us, message us. Uh, Toy Story pun intended, you got a friend of me. You got a friend of me. <laughs> awesome. So nice to see you guys. Yes, let's see. Let me know. Let me know if also your manager is like, oh my God. Carson and Baton Rouge and Animal Kingdom. Awesome. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, guys, she um, works at uh, Sanaa. Right, it was Sanaa. Yeah, so. I send some cast. I'm sorry, but check out this. How cool! Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is so cool. Wow. Hi. We're in love with all the stuff you do. Oh my goodness. Now, how long does it take to make these? Uh, depends on which one. I, I average around two weeks. What? That's it? that's it? It looks like this takes. 
uh, e uh, six months easily. What's the hardest one to make out of these? Um, Captain Hook is pretty hard because he's, he's big and his chin is heavy. <laughs> now, have you ever made a caricature of a human? Like a person, like I could basically make one of my husband? Yeah, I'm actually working on one right now. A guy who owns a tattoo shop in Cape Coral wants me to make his head into a business card holder. So I'm working on that right now. That is so cool. Oh my God, I love that. That's amazing. What's your favorite one out of all of these? Out of all of these, probably the Hot Box Ghost or actually, I like Hot Box Oh, these are amazing. I'm not gonna lie, Big Al's calling to us. Me and Chris with our Country Bear shirt. We're like, oh, we need that Big Al. We have the Big Al bucket hat. Yeah. And then Chris, Big Al right here, wearing his bucket hat. Oh my God, these are awesome. So guys, if you're interested, the website is, uh, is it gotcaricature.com? So guys, check out gotcaricature.com because this is just absolutely amazing. You can see some of the other, oh my God, the Hatbox Ghost is amazing. Oh my God, I kind of need that. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lie, I think these are actually cheaply priced. I like to keep them affordable. Yeah, these are cool for something, like, I mean, this looks like something out of the ride. The fact that that is so, I think, cheap for what you're creating. I might be able to convince Chris. Um, that is so cool. I love this. Chris was like, what if we mounted his head on our wall? I was like, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's one way to, to show your Disney love. But you know it what? Is, it How is. fun would it be to mount a bunch of your favorite characters? This one actually hangs on the wall. <gasps> See, okay, the, I love How that. I know. I love that one so much. It's more fun than a regular Christmas How much is that one? Three. Okay, that's a need. I'm just saying. That oh my gosh. That one's really cute. Oh my goodness. I love this. So cool. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, so sorry, guys. We don't have the best signal. Should I go on Wi Fi? No Wi Fi? I don't know. Oh, here. Grab a big L bucket hat for me out of curiosity. Or the shirt. That's what I was just telling you. <laughs> yeah, grab the shirt. Let's. Let's dress Big Al. Okay. Okay. Well, that's okay. well we won't we won't put it on him. No, It'll okay. be like a like okay. near. So like hang I'm, like the I'm, shirt. I'm just gonna put it close. Yeah, we're gonna do close. So big Big Al, what if you? Oh, that's the lighter version of the hat. So oh, okay. it's more. Okay. How about the shirt? Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> oh, that goes so well. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, now we need it. I mean, Big Al, you've never looked cuter. I love this so much. Everybody's saying They're they want so the Jafar. And the, this is so Insane. cool. I, I really feel like we are at Disney World and the heads have come to life. So cool. Yeah, let me know in the comments what would you guys get? He's moving. This is so cool. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh, well, you are so talented. So we have some amazing people here. Um, and uh, we are right across from the entrance. We're actually almost sold out of the hats. Almost sold out to, oh, like, sold yeah, out we're Fett sold one. out of Boba Fett. Yeah. So if you love any of the stuff we make, um, some of it actually sold out. Guys, this is pretty crazy. Yeah. Crazy pants. Crazy pants. I love it. People are using the emojis. Our oh, members. I yes. about the emojis. And, and bear with me. We, uh, our, our members for our YouTube program, uh, we, um, Whatchamacallit, we'll have access, I think, tomorrow as we make some new emojis. We didn't today, but you'll have access to new emojis. Oh, that's And exciting. keep an eye out. We're going to actually show them mm -hmm. a private video on Patreon. Oh, yes. With the guy from The Walking Dead. Um, the behind the scenes footage. Yeah. Okay, sorry, this is so weird. <laughs> this gimbal's not great. Um, Did you bring another one? No. Oh, sorry, guys, gimbal problems. Uh, but we actually met Ross, uh, Mark. Marquand, Marquand, I think so. Ross Marquand. We from, apologize if we say it or say from it wrong. The Walking Dead, and he is amazing. I I think he's like the coolest guy ever. And Chris was like, he he's somebody you'd want to have a beer with. You know what I mean? I could totally picture him and yeah. Chris like oh Chris and him. Drink and just Chris like will being not buzz. watch scary shows. Yeah. I don't think The Walking Dead is scary, but Chris is scared. Christina's also scary. But they both have said now, because he's so awesome, yeah. they will watch the show. 
they're we're that to, we're willing to give it a try. yes they're like well just you tell us when to close our eyes Marie. <laughs> yeah let me know in the comments have you ever uh seen the walking dead do you know what i'm talking about he also is professor x in the upcoming x-men stuff that's taping currently by disney and um also uh he was paul newman in mad men and i was so like what things. Yeah, he was also um, the voice of Han Solo in oh, the yes. video game. The guy's so talented. And, and, and he's, he's so nice. Yeah. Him and Chris may be starting a podcast. I won't <laughs> tell you the name of it yet. But they've discussed it. And again, the, the people here have been so awesome. Uh, the They're voice like of Mickey. Um, oh, bye-bye. Bye. The voice of Mickey is amazing. Uh, his name is Brett and... Uh, again, we'll put some of those private videos because we had some special private moments with the celebrities. That'll be only on Patreon. Um, so thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us. Keep an eye out today. And also, Chris, tomorrow on Patreon Zoom Cocktail Hour, we have an Imagineer. Please do. Everybody, yes, that will be able to talk and chat with you guys and Epic Universe Engineer. Yeah. It's going to be an epic 24 hours. So. I'm glad to show you though some of this. Let me turn this around. I can't read the comments great because we're getting bad service, so bear with me if I'm not reading your comments. It's not that I am mean. Do you want to try Wi-Fi? I am on Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, on Wi-Fi we're it, we're in a building that's like a hangar. So, but you know what, Chris? I realized people I don't know have seen all of our shirts. Like, can you imagine everybody's now seeing all of our shirts at once? I know. So, so guys, I'm going to. I mean, you know, I'm gonna take them shopping. So this is our Endless Desert Tea with two suns in the Endless Desert. A play on the Endless Summer with Chewbacca surfing. Hello, Alyssa. Hey, John. Now this is our Thor Love and Thunder shirt and it is inspired by a Motley Crue album. Can anybody guess which one? This is our Millennium Falcon Tea that it's very popular today, I will say. Um, also because of the fact Hondo Anaka is here, who is Jim Cummings, Winnie the Pooh. And he is the voice of Hondo Anaka. And of course, uh, again, I didn't know Han Solo. We have Han Solo here. Our Guardians of the Galaxy Nova Core Records. And everybody's been freaking out coming here because they can actually go and try to do hidden Mickey challenges on our shirts. Oh, so they've been looking at them, sitting and watching, like for like literally 20 minutes, one lady. I love that she was determined. She was like, I'm not leaving until I find it. All of our shirts, almost all, have hidden Mickeys. I don't know where it is on this one. I'm gonna do a hidden Mickey challenge. Yeah, hidden Mickey. Oh, okay. Now on the stage, little stage. <gasps> Spotted. And then a lot of people don't realize the Jungle Cruise has a double side. What makes it awesome is the backside of water. Amazing. Violinist. I don't know why they cut off. I'm so sorry. Let's do this correctly, sir. Hey, Chris, Ladies let us gentlemen. spin the wheel. Oh, go. Oh. Yeah, you better let's go back and look for more things. This, yeah. is, this is for oh. some of the... Oh, oh. That's for the hat. Oh, yeah. gotcha. I'm putting them behind because this is the... We're doing a thing where people are spinning the wheel to get some fun stuff, too. And Chris, I'll have you help our friend. Of course. And then this is our faces, which is kind of weird. <laughs> and new in the shop is this. You know, Christina, do you mind taking them over to see the harp or the violinist real quick on the stage? Right over there. Oh, yeah, so guys, uh, while she's up. Yeah. So, oh, you look amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. You're even more of a princess. Oh my goodness. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. One cool thing they've been doing is having artists, musicians perform. There was a harpist. Um, but yeah. Show them just for a minute. Okay. And uh, then come on back. Okay, sounds good. All right. <laughs> Everyone's just saying hello, so nice. All right, let's go see this. This gimbal is actually really strange. 
So I'm holding at a weird angle. You let me know if it's okay. I might have to switch up my wrist position. Oh, we got a little, some characters here. And then, Let me know if the picture is clear. Hi, Michael. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, thanks, RJ. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I'm like holding it and it wouldn't look like it would be straight, but it is straight. Yeah, let, let me know if you can see them okay, because it looks a little bit blurry on my screen. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Ram. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. better. Oh, Andy, thank you so much for the gifted membership. I can't see it on the chat, but I'm seeing the little messages now. So thank you so much. Uh, Beacon Honeydew, we have been, it was yesterday and today, but um, Chris came a day earlier, so on um, Friday to set up. Veronica, yes, it was a little bit busier. There is now um, a panel, so a lot of people go see the panels, so that's why you see that it's a little bit quieter now. Mall of Air One, of course, we're going back to them now. This is their lovely booth. Oh, someone's fit in the wheel. David, you're also under the weather. Uh, well, I hope everyone feels better soon. I know a lot of people are getting sick. I'm not sure what's going around, but hopefully, yeah, feel better real soon. Wheel. No way! That's amazing! The LB Wheel of Fortune. Now, you guys have a you know, we do this little wheel on our TikTok lives and we keep getting flagged for gambling, even though we are 100% not gambling. Oh! Okay! We're gonna come visit. There we go. Okay! We're, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll go visit the yes. booth. Okay, yes. sounds good. Yes. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and she is a winner already. Yeah, there's some amazing artists. Well, was it you that won the bucket hat? The bucket hat. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. And then Chris, uh, what size? Yeah, what else did you play? I think that was going to be the. Uh... What? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No, no, it's moving on its own. I don't like this gimbal. I know the gimbal's awful. It keeps moving. It's a gimbal, guys. It keeps moving on its own. I know, so I've been doing this with my Oh, hand. yeah, I know. Before it was like this. It's not your fault. <laughs> you know what? If you want to show them the spooky booth, the House of Jeeps, what is, is okay. that a homage to Beetlejuice? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go walk around. <gasps> Looks like some fun candles. Let's go take a look. James, we are at an expo called House of Mouse. So lots of Disney inspired booths here. <laughs> and we got some 
some fun Disney celebrities as well. So we won't go too far. Also, I apologize again for my gimbaling because it keeps moving by itself. Now, so like I said before, there's a panel going on now. So you'll see it's a little bit more quiet. But for some reason, Maria and Chris always have some people. Oh. Well, I'm a bear of one, yes. It is a, a haunted gimbal. Absolutely. Sure. Are you are, are you gonna take me? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go see some art. You know, I haven't even been down this row yet. Oh, it's right over here. So we're basically neighbors. Hello. Oh. Wow. We got the stickers. Oh, and we got stickers. Oh yeah. Hi, Carla and Mike. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, Carla and Mike. And Grandma and Grandpa. All of the family. All of the friends. All right. So we got some stickers. Oh, over here. And then we also got a little book. Hold on, let because this gimbal keeps moving weird on me. So this is the headshot. Wow. Look at that. And is everything hand drawn by you? This is like the computer. Yeah. Wow, you are so talented. Okay. Yeah, still hand drawn, but in a, in a different way. Wow. This is amazing. Are you also an artist? Yeah, I just drew it. Five to go. You are an up and coming. Maybe we'll see your art here next we got year. The Power Rangers, but like, uh, these are uh, computer names. Like some of them. Somebody was asking, is that a Mega Man sticker? Now I don't, yes. I, I don't know. Oh, oh right there. Yep. Oh, yes, it is. See, I didn't know who Mega Man was, but yes, it is. Good eye. Very cute. So, Mama Bear of One, the little princess did not draw those, but she is an up and coming artist, so. I made one of the ears. Did you really? Yeah. What, what, what did you draw? Uh, I didn't, like, in the back, I drew some. Okay, okay. When I'm I was five I, years old, I drew this. At five years old? <laughs> wow, I, I cannot even draw that good. I'm, I'm 34 years old. <laughs> Um, oh, and we have some ears over here. Hey, my lovely wife makes this. She makes these ears too. Oh, you make the ears? Yeah, yeah, here. Let's 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 plug the card here. I, th I think it's a little blurry. One second. So you guys can go check out their shop here, yeah, Mad yeah, Madame Mim. And then this is um, the other one. And Joe Pratelli. And on the back is a um, Mega Man drawing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, somebody liked the Mega Man drawing before. Was this there we go. Um, sticker Daddy? Or was it this one? I don't know, one of my first stickers. Ooh, we also have some Sailor Moon fans in here. Well, this is, this is absolutely spectacular, I gotta say. This is my favorite one. That's your, the Animaniacs? Yeah. Did, did they have... They come out with like a reboot of the they show. Did, yeah. They did. Okay. So I was like, was how come you also know Animaniacs? And I used to watch <laughs> Animaniacs as a child. We got Max and Goofy. <gasps> and Superman. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I got my first computer when I was eight. Wow, so, everyone's like, saying, all so good. Uh, thank you. They're loving it. I'm a big 80s, 90s Disney person, so all the stuff here is... Me like too. I got like a ton of Disney 
play stuff in here. Playing random films. We got Tron. <gasps> we got, um, wow. it's a small world. We got Ratatouille. We got a ton of Marvel stuff. If you reach out through Instagram, there's a Oh, yeah. Sure. Or, or reach out through Instagram? Yeah. And um, or Twitter through, through, through both of them, Instagram. both yeah. both shops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the cards again. There you go. You guys want to check them out? Awesome. All right, of course. Thank you for the lovely tour. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ooh, it's on Hulu. Okay, I, I'll have to check that out. I used to watch it as a kid. It was Adam's here today as well. We saw him yesterday. Somebody watching just phoned a friend. Phoned a friend? People watching, I don't know who was last on the chat. Oh, trying to get bigger. She just bought a free shirt. No way, that's yes. amazing. Oh my gosh. So we will add this into your bag. And I would love, since we didn't have any socks, that's a little, a little wheel of sure. fortune. Have you met Jason Marsden yet? I have not, but Maria has. And yes, I heard he's he's very lovely. Everyone's been super nice. Oh, Michael, thank you. Chris put this all together. We got, we got a, 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 a nice little chunk of the shirts here. And that's not even all of them, but no. The booth turned out really nice. Oh yes, the little princess was amazing. She gave us a great tour of her booth. With all of the beautiful art. Also nice to meet you, Thank you. Nice meeting you. Oh, so cool. The, the coolest part of this, honestly, is meeting people. Um, everybody's so interesting, unique. They have stories. Some are vendors. Some are, are pirates, like Sean. New friend. We've got pirate. New, new pirate friend. Um, yeah, it's been so cool. I think like what makes it worth coming to these is honestly like making friends. Yeah. Um, just absolutely awesome. So neat. Now. Well, if you guys want to walk around, you're more than welcome to. I'll hang out. Here. How about this? Me and Christina, let's go peek our head in the panel. Okay. And poor Christina. Thank you for. Thank you, Christina. Bye, guys. This this hurts the wrist. So much love for Christina. <laughs> Because I'm you can't see it, it but go. she is. These are our little artists. Okay. Yes, she is um, holding that gimbal. At a very strange yes, angle. at a very strange angle. Want <laughs> to make this straight? Hey Tammy, how's it going? Hey Roy, hey Melissa. Yeah, why don't you guys go pee? I do have to pee, but I want to see the panel real quick. I'm gonna hang out here. Okay. Bye, guys. He's like peace and quiet. <laughs> it's a party. I'm just gonna, I, I'm just gonna stand like this and see if anyone notices. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Actually, do you have a phone? Can you get this? Like, Chris, stay right there. Chris, stay. <gasps> this is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you see that? That is. Oh, I think the mannequin came to life. The ma the mannequin came to life. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so fun. I love it. So cool. All right. Well, we'll let we'll let Chris talk to the lovely ladies over there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Um, Winnie the Pooh, real quick. I do have to use the restroom. So, guys, now we don't know if the Wi-Fi is going to work as we exit. Um, is it this one? When you yeah, walk? Yeah. Okay. I will somewhere down here. Okay, we're about to find out. Um, hey, everybody. Hello, Michael. And hello, LBV TV Clubhouse. LBV Clubhouse, LBV Clubhouse. Come inside, it's fun inside. Come inside, it's fun inside. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh, I have to be quiet. Oh, wait, I'm scared to go in. Yeah, they said we could film. I asked. I'm scared. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go to the back. Just, just stand right here. Can I hear a little? Just for me. I don't know. I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> and she 
See the blurriness? Jimmy, you do, you do not have a face for radio. This is the handsome guy. This beautiful blue eyes. Do you ever, do you ever have any on-camera aspirations? Do you ever try your hand at that? Uh, Why is it doing no. it? Why is it no, doing it? And honey, do I don't think you were alone and having a hard time hearing you.
I'll be on the side. Okay. okay. <laughs> but we, we try to list up, but I need to, uh, before, before you wrap up, I just want to sing these praises because he's in my favorite movie of all time. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll talk, let's talk, make sure we talk about his podcast, too. We, oh, yes. We can we'll talk, talk about the podcast. We'll, yes. You mean tuned in with Jim Cummings? Let's just start right now. Woo! Is that the one? <laughs> you had uh, 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 Shazam on your show and uh, Beast. Beast. <laughs> I can't remember their names. Ron Perlman. And, oh, uh, sure, sure. And, oh, yeah, a lot of people. Yes. And how long have yeah. you been doing that? Um, uh, a couple months now. Huh? It's an on camera thing. It's, a, it's an on camera yeah. audio thing. Yes. Great conversations. What's the basis of your podcast? Like, why are you just like, I'll do a podcast? Well, you know, it's uh, it, it just came to us one day that it, and apparently everybody in their congressman has a podcast. And I said, well, okay, time for mine. And I get a lot of my friends. That, Wait, that Ram, can you still not here, hear? Uh, on the podcast. Or can you and, hear them okay? Uh, you know, just different people on camera, off camera. Um, and we occasionally channel, you know, spirits. And yes. No, no. <laughs> and uh, it's just a lot of fun. But I hope you can tune in. And it's yes. on Spotify. Tune uh, tuned in. What, what is it? On, on all the formats. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. The platforms. Yeah. There you go. Check it out. So make sure you subscribe. And uh, and also it helps What's you. What's on Disney Plus? You know, the star rating. Uh, it helps. Yeah. You're already number five in the, in the, in the country. Yes. It's not so bad. <laughs> Yeah, in the country, yeah, yeah. It's huge okay. for the universe. Thanks, Juliana. Speaking of five, this is something I always wondered about because it was a time you we were like on all five Disney afternoon shows at once, and I'm like, did they? Did what point did they just give it to you? Or are you auditioning? Like, yeah, we'll just take Jim again. I mean, like, why, why bother auditioning anyone else? Just take Jim, you know? Because you're like Darkwing, Bob, Misty, Bobcat. Were you marsupial? I know. Uh, I was, yeah. I, was, I wasn't his marsupial. I wasn't marsupial on me, but I was the, the giant ape. <laughs> <laughs> Typecast again. But I was in every, <laughs> I was in, I was in every single uh, show on the Disney afternoon. Outstanding. And two of them were, uh, I was the title character. Can you name them? Ooh, that's good. And? Okay. Come on, talk is the podcast. The first two detective. Yeah, but anyway, that's how we talk. Amazing. But you read for all those? Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. So they all voice okay. different <laughs> Disney characters. I read for them. Probably the voice caster. I remember seeing that the voice, the voice guy was in Burbank, uh, and I think the furniture is still the same from the 70s. Yeah, yeah. The one talking yeah. now in the red yeah. jacket uh, is Max from Paraline. Real, like tape reel, yeah. uh, like a square, and, and I always see Jimmy's with your beautiful John Stamos hair. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, one day, I have to remember that guy. Yeah, no, there you go. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, this machine can run itself, and you don't need me here, but if there are any questions, Burning desires, you want for these gentlemen? Yes, young lady. Well, the difference between live action and just regular Saturday morning is money. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm allowed to say that. Uh, so yeah. that's the voice of Winnie no, the Pooh no in the makeup. middle. Yeah, they, they both require no makeup. But, uh, but yeah, that's true. And what did you want me to do? A little bit of the way that you I'm sorry, but I won't be able to do that one out of smack relevant. <laughs> So we, we're, we're going to challenge Jim to, to do every single voice. Oh, He's done a lot of them. Them. How do you want me to do? You want me to read the, the name? Yeah, read the name and then I'll... Maybe I'll remember it and everything. That'll yeah, be fun, I think. That's what on this whole list. And, 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 and oh, this is going to be fun. Sure. All right, get ready for it. Do you mind if people record this? Oh, God, yes. Please do. <laughs> All right, here we go. This, this is it. In Jim's entire career. The lightning round. Right now, okay. Are we still with Winnie the Pooh? 
you please pass the honey? Tigger. Oh, that's ridiculous. I got a good potion. Ray. Well, you know the women love a man with a big back pouch. Dr. Robotnik. Oh, you must be a friend of Snivelly's. Taz. Well, I know them. Darkwing. I am the terror that flaps in the night. But you knew that. Car. A chance. Hondo. Well, well, well. You must be a friend of Skywalker. Here, let me hold your wallet. Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat is Winnie the Pooh on acid. <laughs> Pete. Pete the Cat. Well, how you doing there, buddy? Say hello to the group for me. <laughs> Lord Boxman. Lord Boxman, where are you going with that? Okay, I'm going to get you! Chief. As the river cuts his path, though the river's proud and strong, you'll have to pay for more. Bunkers! Bunkers, Steve Bobcat. He was the first toon detective that was ever in the Hollywood the toon division of Toontown, and he was in California in, in Bunkers, and he had a lot to say. Shredder. Shredder, get those turtles! Monterey Jack. Well, I don't know. I'll first I'm here to hear a slice of chives. Baloo. But I'm an old Come on, there, metal bitches. Let's get going. Cat dog. Oh, no, cat dog. No, 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 I don't want it. Ah! Razul. Ah. Uh, yes. Javar has no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry, princess. You will have to take it up with Javar. Yeah, nailed it. Scar. Be prepared! <laughs> Bad guys have to laugh at the end of their song. Ghostbuster? Well, if the sun is strange in the neighborhood, Evangeline. Look how she lights up the sky. Fuzzy Lumpkins. Fuzzy Lumpkins. Fuzzy Lumpkins, you have to I can't understand the thing you say. Smokey the Bear. Remember. Only you can prevent Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> Ed for the Lion King. Voices, listen to what I'm doing, or whatever it is. This is 
it's called the voice print, which is basically your voice is in oh, yeah. there, right? You can't find his voice print in his character. I can't. I, I'll never know it's you. Except there was one that, that sounded a little bit like Darkwing. And, and so I had to, but I mean your tigger it was probably Mega Duck. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that is that's an amazing talent. Oh thanks. And he's completely camouflaged your own voice. You should think about doing it thriller. <laughs> any uh any Take that, Sister Mary Agnes. Yes, young lady. <laughs> oh, that's the lady who has the record in the Guinness World Book Records of the most money the Pooh items. And she has her shirt. Also, oh. thank you. Yeah, well that was weird. Uh, our, our uh, director, Mark, he would he I, you know, I was all over Pooh. You know, they they do that. And uh, they had another fellow who, uh, who shall remain nameless, and he was doing Tigger. And it was so interesting because uh, I, I'm not sure how it happened, but I don't think he, he was a big Disney profile, and he didn't know who did what and what to do. But everybody knows a who, so they go, that was easy. But there was another actor there. Uh, he was an on camera fellow uh, from, uh, from England. Sorry, we don't want to be loud or anything. Guys, oh my goodness, how was that? Um, he said, Cheshire Cat, you need to an acid. <laughs> Maybe we should go back. Are you going to say more crazy stuff? I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, guys, should we go back? It's funny. Oh my god, maybe we go back. Should we go back? Well, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back and forth. There's also the ghost. No, I, sorry. Uh, I'm looking at the Sunday schedule, Jim Cummings, Pirates reunion. So that's a three. Um, that's in 20 minutes. It's in 20 minutes? Yeah, it's already 38. Oh my God. That's crazy. Where'd Chris go? What? Are Where? you getting something in the back? Oh no, he's right there. Looking at the heads. Oh. Hello, humans! See, Chris likes the heads too. Oh, hello, Jack. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. What? What a. Uh, it looks exactly like you. It does. The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Chris, you missed it. I think what are they called sand raiders. I think they're called so. Oh, that's just be careful. That guy deals a lot with sand, and I know you deal a lot with sand too. So Jack, I know you were here the other day, right? No, this is my no? first time here. Then I've seen a lot of you today. <laughs> I'm Maria. No, uh, she's in the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't work here. I just am selling some shirts. <laughs> Trying to convince uh, Jack Sparrow here that. Wait, where's our? <gasps> I mean, hold on. Let's see. How do you look, Jack? Hold on. I'll hold it. Oh my gosh, how handsome! It's actually the name of the fabric isn't black. It is ghost black pearl. Because it's not black. I, I know. Think and it's about ghost stories. Oh, I know. I know. You look. I, again, we're big fans. We're big fans. Jack. Jack's checking out the treasure. I know. How good does he look? Oh, do you have my other phone? Look, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Tuscan Raiders. That's right. There was the sand Tuscan Raider people that tried to go after Jack. I know. I know. Oh, my gosh. Look, Jack, you look amazing, and I love your artwork. We'll have to go check out the booth. I saw you over there, right? Is that where you got it? Yeah, it's right around the car. Awesome. Yeah. So cool. Oh, my God. You gosh. have the shirt in the medium. Oh, we do. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll tell you what, Jack, because I'm so honored, Jack Sparrow's here, um, I'm going to add an extra shirt to your order. Is there anything else that speaks to you, Jack? Yes. I feel like Jack Sparrow deserves, deserves something fun. I mean, there is, let's see, what other things are kind of adventurous? There's oh. obviously the Jungle Cruise, this, where the backside of I water. Mean, this would speak with that, Oh! I, I was also thinking Maui's tattoo shop. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you do have amazing tattoos, sir. Yeah, I will. You too. I know. Feel free to 
to uh, what did I say? Is it plunder? Plunder. Plunder. <laughs> I think Maui will do. Maui, awesome, awesome. Well, we are honored. When Jack Sparrow loves the Jack Sparrow tea, that's a big deal. That's. And did you know there's this thing called a Mickey, and he's hidden in every one of our shirts, even this one. So somewhere in here is a hidden. Is there a hidden Mickey on you? There is somewhere. Oh my gosh, he has a hidden Mickey too. Oh wow. Oh, that's so cool. I can't see myself, though. That's all right. That means we're going to have to find it. And we're going to put this in our vlog. What a cool thing. This is so awesome. It's coins. Now, do you have an Instagram handle or anything that we can find your awesomeness? Captain Ron Sparrow. Captain Ron, Ron Sparrow. Sparrow. That's Love awesome. It. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm Maria. And this is Chris and Christina. Nice to meet you. And we design Captain everything you see us, uh, see us wear and behind you. Um, we love, love, love designing, and it's cool moments like this Captain, that Captain make Jack, it. Uh, coin or card? <laughs> uh, how much do I owe you? Thirty dollars. Uh, well, we will. We won't show his card. Coin. Oh, right. coin. I appreciate that. Amazing. So fun. Yeah, that was for you. I love that. Oh, Jack, thank you. Oh my gosh, so cool. Thank you. You look amazing. And I can't wait to actually see this. Like, tag us. Definitely, do you give him our card, Chris, and yes. everything? Yes. Yeah, so definitely tag us. And looking forward to seeing more of you, Captain Ron. I look forward kind of to seeing you. Awesome. Well. Good seeing you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. so yeah, cool. The car circuit in Florida. You know, Honestly, not. This is, not, this this is, is this our, first our first one. Yeah, yeah, first one. We did MegaCon two years ago, then we took yeah. a little break, and this is our first time getting back into it. So we might do a couple more. Yeah, now. they're fun because it's. I say, like, the best part is like getting to meet people like you. Yeah. I like me. This this yeah. con is too small. Okay. I like. MegaCon is too big. Oh, yeah. In between. In between, yes. yes. If we could find something in between, yes. I think that would actually be perfect. Just they were saying the pop. Con, oh, I think, pop? is good at I don't Double know. Tree. Ocala oh. is a good medium sized con, about 6,000 people. Okay. okay. Um, Tampa Bay Comic Con is bigger, yeah. medium sized. Now, okay. let us know, guys, in good the comments, guess. what so, is your favorite uh, Comic Con to go to? I know Christine uh, Hickman goes to a lot of them. Yeah. And we heard about that. This is Darth so Vader. Do you go to any? Yeah. 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 So, it could be like that. I think that's probably the balance. Megacon, yeah. I think, was way too yeah. big. Oh, like, God. No, we have. This is way too small. We have traumatic stress from that experience. <laughs> so we need just a little bit. Yeah. Maybe a happy medium. A happy medium. I literally had to spend a week building myself up to handle Megacon. Oh, it was, Oh, yeah. Because yeah, if you go. I can't take full steps. I got hit. Um, our booth was so packed that we actually yeah. got in trouble. They were like, you can't cause. Yeah. There are people that Stops, were, like, yeah. trying to stop the car to us, and then they yeah. got corralled to continue to move. Yeah, I was like, what? So, I was like, yeah. we're making new friends. Yeah. Come back. Like, I can do one con like that a year. Yep. Dragon so, con. Yeah, that's a lot. Con. Ooh, okay. what is Dragon Con like? Are there dragons? Dragon Con. Is it Game of Thrones? What is it? Very adult. Oh, 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 it's, oh it's, okay, it's okay. Everything. I see, okay, yeah, so there might be... more slave layers there than you've oh, ever seen in your life. Oh, I um, see, okay, yeah. so... Gotcha. Uh, everyone should see it once. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, big, I love it's it. the biggest party con in America. Sure. Amazing. Where, where is yeah. that? Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. Okay. Well, one time we went. We didn't go. We stayed at the same hotel as the anime, anime convention. convention. And let's just say that that was uh, R-rated to NC-17. Yes. That was, that was, yeah. Uh, was that Holiday in Missouri here? Uh, it was, was at the, the, yeah, the World yeah. the Trade World, something yeah, yeah. center. Yeah, the Marriott Ghetto World uh, Complex. Yeah. Center, that, was, <laughs> that was an interesting. Yeah, let's just we say, did. oh my God. Um, yeah, we, that was... We, we didn't, that was before everything. Was yeah, we were, we were just... We were just vacationing. In and oh, we were okay. like, what's yeah. happening? We didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> yeah. Like we didn't even we just walked into the hotel and sure enough we see all this craziness. Yeah, and that yeah was, you see a lot of skin in an anime con. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was the hotel. Let's just say I've never complained at a hotel. It was 4 a.m. and the pool was still going. All in the party. And things that shouldn't have been happening due to just um, health health code violations okay. in the pool. <laughs> yes, health, health code, code violations, violations in the oh pool. My God. 
But yeah, so we'll have to check them out. But oh my god, please don't be a stranger. Now, yeah, Ron, you're a friend. Captain Ron's also Captain, famous. Yes. Captain, have you ever seen Overboard? Okay, all right. I was just saying, I <laughs> we love our captains. Yes. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to meet yeah, really you. Nice to yeah, thanks for stopping. Thank you, Oh, so cool. Like that, honestly, that's what I love about this, is we've gotten to meet so many yeah. cool people. Absolutely. And how fun that is, is he? Fun thing about, uh, yeah, everybody type in the, in the chat, what? Actually, you know, me and Christina haven't seen anything, because we've been, are you okay by yourself? Okay. Christina, let's go see, oh yeah, go, I'm gonna take them to walk to see walk. vendor stuff. Are you hungry or anything? I'm fine. Yeah. Sure? He gave me okay. like a little bathroom break before it left him. Do you need a bathroom break? Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. Let's see. That's fun. There are relics and antiquities from the Indiana Jones stuff in there. So cool. And again, um, and again, big thank you to the awesome... Oh, I see our Dr. T shirt. I see Dr. T's behind you. So cool. I see so many awesome people wearing our stuff. And a big thank you to Mrs. Darth Vader wearing... Well, not wearing, so I was thinking of this lady. Sorry. Brain, brain fog. It's been, we haven't slept in two days. You guys Actually, a whole like, week. I have slept. They're no, not. she kind of really didn't. Um, I have half slept. Yeah, you, <laughs> one hour, <laughs> one. You got, she got you. one. Um, but Mrs. Darth Vader sent a very, very generous um, PayPal. Too sweet. Mrs. Darth Vader, we can't wait for you to come visit. And remember we danced, we danced with a cute little, oh, yes. little Luke Skywalker. But he did say he's dark side. Now, I am excited to see some of these. <gasps> Hello! Oh, wow. Look at all the awesome things. And again, you can see the signs, guys. So um, while you're watching, go check out their websites. Clarified by Claire. I love it. I love the name. So cool. And we got fashion. And speaking of fashion, we have some friends that oh, let's see you to come in. oh so, oh you want me to come in oh i did i promised our friend at three we'd go see her real quick but how you guys are staying the whole time right i love your stuff it's amazing oh my goodness so cool so many neat things look at the little gorilla right there a gorilla baby and hats more hats oh that's cool you have so many cool things Oh my gosh, we'll be back. We, I promised our friend who has a booth. Oh, I'll have to buy a bunch of it. Count me in. Count me in. So, let's see. We have a friend. Oh, wait, they're, they'll leave. Wait, wait. Are you guys leaving? Wait, where? Oh, is Michelle in the... In, oh, okay, I'll come back. But guys, go make sure to check out Disney Fashionista. Here, how about this? Since Michelle's not here, just in case, tell us about your awesome uh, socials. Um, as you know, I've, you've seen me repost them. They are the real, true Disney Fashionista group of anything merch. So if you want to know the best in merch, they got you. But tell us. Yeah, tell us absolutely. About. We cover everything from Junie and Burke to things in the park to small shops on Etsy. We cover it all, even fashion for your home or for your pets. Um, and you can find us on Instagram at, at the number four Disney Fashion, which is up there. Um, we are on YouTube, Disney Fashionista, and we're on Facebook as Disney Fashionista as well. Amazing. And they've been giving away free stuff we to have. people. I have a lot of free swag already from our awesome friends here. <laughs> and I love that they have a red carpet step and repeat here. How fun. Oh, that is so cute. Isn't that awesome? What an I idea. I love that. But um, my go-to for all Disney merch is our awesome friends, Disney Fashionista. And they, I mean, you guys are always on it. You're like, boom, you. <laughs> boom. And also stuff that nobody knows about. Yeah, a lot of times you guys find these rare, unique items that aren't on a Disney site or anything. And I'm telling you guys, really neat. What we actually sell is our monthly subscription boxes. <gasps> I was in oh, it once. Yeah. Well, not me as a person. So I was going to say, but I fit, I fit in that one. <laughs> we do but, a monthly subscriber list, but then we also have our first come, first serve box. Um, they're very limited, like 10 or 15 per month. They go on sale at um, oh. the 15th of every month at 9 a.m. on our Facebook. We sell them for $39.99, but they're always valued at way oh, more awesome. than that. Sometimes there'll be like a lounge fly wallet in there oh, as well. Sometimes as well. an LBV shirt, that happened. 
twice. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And then um, earrings from small shop, um, shops. But today we were giving some away for free, but you can check them out the 15th of every month. And Amazing. Well, we're going to come back because my husband is literally writing Maria, 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 Maria. Oh, actually. Sorry, that's our two. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Something happened. We're coming. We're coming. Something happened. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. What happened? What happened? <laughs> I thought so. Hello, how are you? I'm just hanging out, watching the stream. Oh, I, th I thought something, ha I thought. Are you streaming? <laughs> yeah, I thought something. I see you're a vendor too. What's your yeah, um? Uh, JV .inc. So I do a lot of glow. I put you on. on the yeah, yeah. Because I, I mean, look at his hat. Oh yeah, thank you. Where's your booth? Uh, we're actually on uh, the corner there, uh, right by the celebrity uh, artist alley. Oh. Uh, so right in the great corner. Spot. Yeah, a lot of foot traffic. It was a great weekend in spot. All right, great we're gonna spot. have to go check it out. Yeah. Amazing. I know. I got time to step away, so I'm like, let me let me swing by. Yeah. Where everyone's at now. So cool! So my fiance showed me this earlier. And I'm like, oh god, I gotta, I gotta go see it myself. Oh, Andy! Oh my goodness! You guys, um, I can't thank y'all enough for hanging out. Yeah, we have. Uh, oh, oh my! There's so much happening. Oh my gosh! Look at it. You guys, look. It's our friend. I like your shirt. So R two. We're live on YouTube right now with thousands of people who are gonna see your cuteness. And uh, his handler here, Chris, making sure nobody kidnaps the droid, um, is wearing our Endless Desert shirt. Absolutely. Um, we've been hanging out. He was playing uh, pirates music for some of the pirates. Oh, he's playing. Oh my gosh. Damn. R2, you've outdone yourself. Oh. oh, you are so cute. I've been I've been in love with this droid. Our friend Chris, who's taking care of him today. I said we might kidnap. <laughs> you are the droid you're lo we're we're looking for. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so cool! Thank you, R2. Thank you. May the force be with you. So cool. So, oh. Mary, that's a, that's a question. What? When you, when I texted you, or when I said, put that in the chat, what did you see? It said Maria, 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 oh. Maria, Maria, Maria. Because all I did was put your face. You were putting emojis. Oh. <laughs> And let me say thank you to Andy with the super chat. Chris, can you show it on the screen so I can read it? Hi, Marie and Chris. You're lovely lady by your side. This tip is for the three drinks on me. So fun. Oh, my goodness. Andy, can't wait for the Zoom call tomorrow. <gasps> Andy, that is too kind of you. So oh, my gosh. We need to name the emojis something that we know it's going to be the No, emoji. but that's funny. Yeah. I think that's funny, though. Yeah, Maria, Maria, she Maria. really thought you were in trouble, so she ran. Yeah. <laughs> Maria, I Maria. Just, it one, said. Two, three, four. I put so seven Maria's faces we have as, as the emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't see that. Oh my goodness. So go to LBV Clubhouse. LBV Clubhouse. Um, we, uh, we just started a YouTube membership program. And uh, it's a lot of fun. We get to do a lot more graphics. There will be also a message board where you guys can interact. We're actually going to post something today on the message board um, where you guys can actually chat in it. But a lot of the really cool stuff is also on Patreon. That's where we do the Zoom cocktails. There's a lot of things we can't do with the YouTube memberships. But, I mean, Christina, the YouTube membership with the emojis, the, the okay, walls. so fun. Of course, you also get a badge. Yes. The badge shows how long you've been a member so people know seniority of the LBV true veterans <coughs> who have been a part of the fun since the beginning. Okay. And you also get highlighted messages in the chat. Hence... All of a sudden I see Maria, 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 Maria. So, yeah, never dull moment. Just like Chad yeah, right now. See, we got Highlighted messages. Oh my gosh, so awesome. You get a special... Oh, you, we're you, shopping. You, you, you don't get any Shein shoes. You don't get Shein shoes? No. Oh my God, I love this. So fun. I'm obsessed. Never dull moment. Never dull moment. 
Yes. Oh. That's Andy's a, like, that's Andy's, a good one. Andy went all out. I love it. Oh my God. Yeah, let us know. What do you think should be the next emoji? Chris was saying maybe a Star Wars one. Maybe we need a little R2D2. Yeah, so luckily we are, um, you know, in the, uh, the graphic design business. But some of our friends, like Christine, who's princess in here. Oh, yeah. Um, Roy, others have, have put in some of their designs and sent them to us, what they thought. Um, ooh, Alyssa this, just did a Galactic Hero sandwich. This by, is what Chris was trying to do. By a Chris <laughs> and Maria and another Galactic Hero. Um, so the more members we get, the more emojis we can add. But our goal was to make them super funny and awesome, like the crazy pants. Yeah. My face, like... Um, the next one we think we're gonna do is a Baby Yoda Maria head. What? And so anytime I say Yoda best, a Baby Yoda Maria head. I mean, you do have your um, sweat, your yeah, that's jacket what the picture is. with yeah, the we hood. Yeah, we have a funny photo of me going like this. And that's I'm a good wearing one. a Baby a Yoda one. thing. And uh, I look pretty crazy. Crazy pants. Crazy Mama, pants. Mama, Mama, Mama Maria. <laughs> that's right. Oh, Chris is dancing, homie. Oh, yeah. Wait, you know, I realize again, I've not really probably shown you guys all the shirts. Did you know we have a Mighty Ducks tee? This is actually inspired by a t-shirt Megan Fox wore. <laughs> she was wearing her kid's like peewee uh, yeah, shirt. Yeah, she wore literally like her eight-year-old son's shirt, but I was like, that would make an epic tee. So I wanted something that looked cute and sexy on a girl, but also awesome, cool, nostalgic, um, athletic, old school vintage sports tee. And we got the Wayfinder here. For those of you who have not seen this yet, the Wayfinder one is on a denim material. And I love this one. There's tons of hidden things like the heart of Te Fiti in the island there. There's the actual Hawaiian Islands right there. Hey, hey, Pua, all of our friends. That's my favorite and part. It, oh, oh, oops, gimbal. Oh, there we go, we're back. Yeah, like mysteriously. Yeah, the gimbal is not friend. <laughs> Hopefully, you kept the box, Chris. Did you keep the box that was out there? What? We're gonna have to return this. Did you keep the box? I did not throw anything out. Okay, well, this is getting returned. Bad gimbal, bam. Um, now, a lot of people don't realize our Jungle Cruise shirt actually has the backside of water. It is the amazing, colossal, stupendous backside of water. And. Should be a jungle that one has a hidden Mickey on the front and the back. There's, there's so many hidden Mickeys. And here we have the Nova Core Galaxy okay, Records. Because you know who deserves a record, record deal is, of course, the Guardians. Chris, it's kind of blurry. Do you guys yeah, see that? I just Look at that. That's our animal was here. Okay. Now, in the mystery grab bag, you might get one of these on Shop LBB. It is two for one right now. Mystery grab bag. I think uh, the Henkel family got it. I saw your sweet review of it. I'm so glad you love it. Also, this beauty, our electrical water pageant, where Chris literally did all of the sleeves from one side to the other and then just like vineyard vines inspired oh hey Brandon how's it going now if you watch TikTok you've probably seen some of these but this is our Rapunzel design just restocked Chris you know why this is like uh, blurry it doesn't look blurry on the screen it's so weird I know it looks like right now, it's not blurry. So wait, check your screen. Is it blurry right now? Is it blurry on your screen? Well, no, try now. Uh, let me know, yeah, Rapunzel. I was at Rapunzel. This just dropped. It's almost sold out. It is almost gone. And we have Tron. This is fun. I'm not, I realize I don't think everyone's seen like all of our shirts. Oh, no. Of course, there is tons more on the site. Now this one, Max actually signed. Oh, I love that Experiment 626. Let us know in the comments, do any of you guys have these shirts? Oh, I dropped one. Sorry. 
This is our Sanderson tea. One night only. It is blurry. No? Yeah. Like, so I zoomed in for a while. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, 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 I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. People were even asking for this here. This is one of our most popular and famous ones. This has been selling like crazy. And our Dr. Facilier tea. It is Shirtland, Michael. You guys are getting to see it. And this is only 20 of them, by the way. Is it? This is only 20 of our shirts. That's crazy. So to see all of them, go to shop. Up. Oh, yeah. Let me know. Have you guys subscribed to the uh, newsletter? Because you get coupon codes and updates. So just scroll the site. Oh, man. Yeah. So this doesn't look blurry to you guys? No, it doesn't look blurry on the phone. Check right now um, what it looks like okay, me sorry. showing the website. The, the phone hates me. Mama says it's slightly out of focus. <laughs> well, like go to our website and scroll. Look, that's, that's me. And just scroll to the bottom and hit view all. Bam. And then we're already sold out of the Boba Fett hat. Chris, do we have any more on the site? What? Do we have any more on the site? We the yeah, we just okay. sold out here. Okay, so we have more we have Boba Fett. The only thing that's blurry is the iPad. Yeah, so it's blur so okay. So when I see on the screen is what they're seeing. Now, like go to Rapunzel. I stayed on it a while. Something's up okay. with the phone. It hates me. We got a new phone, guys. So we're we're figuring it out. And of course, the fan favorite. A salute to all nations, but mostly America. Um. Now, this also just dropped in the shop. It's almost sold out. Patreon had a special version, a variant, that only they could get. But so special. I love that one. The Tomorrowland Speedway. One of my other favorites. Let me know if you want to see anything in here. Because I realize, I don't even think we've ever shown anybody the Doctor Strange. That's one of our other most popular ones. Multiverse Watch Repair. Again, these are all on the site. And it is a crushed acid wash. And Maui's Tattoo Shop is restocked, guys. It is restocked. Are the hats one size at Thrill? Yes, but they're giant. You could be a 6X man. We met a guy who was 6X today. And it fit his head just fine. And just now restocked one last time is our Simply Orange... So orange bird. Head, head, head bigger than mine, Maria. Yeah. He's measuring his head. I can literally fit my entire hand in the hat and still have space. Wow. With my head. Amazing. It's amazing. It fits all heads. It's amazing. There's a lot of space. And our Mandalorian tea, again, it's a little blurry, but it is a metallic gunmetal. I don't know if you can see it on the screen right now. It actually shimmers in a slight way to give the illusion of actual armor, metallic armor that Mandalorian would have worn. And there's even some hidden Mickey. So it's supposed to look like the metal that was forged and melted that you see in the show. I love this one. But you can see, again, you can see everything better on our website. Gusto's is restocked. Yeah, we brought some of our, our fan favorites. And you know what the surprise hit? I mean, obviously, Tron was very, very popular. The Jungle Cruise. But also, the Animal Was Here shirt. Oh, I almost dropped it. I think when people see it in person, they're like, wow, that's cool. Yeah. Um, here, Chris, put it up against you. Okay, now I get the joke. Now that I reread the comments. <laughs> what, the blurriness? No, Ram says, is it one size Fets all, like, oh, size fits all. <laughs> oh, it's a Mickey. I get Wait, ask him to sign your hat. Oh, that's the guy that voices Mickey. Oh, so well, here, sorry, Chris. I got distracted by the guy that voices Mickey. We wanted him to sign our hat. Here, show. I'm sorry, I pulled it away. 
So this one is actually hand splattered graffiti paint. Each one is different. So see the one there? Different paint splatter than what's there. Um, and Chris, you wore this in Vegas. I did. Yeah. I wore that out in Vegas. One of our favorites. And... Uh, oh, Country Bears is almost sold out. But I don't know if everybody saw the new hoodie and more. So again, this is cool to show you. We also have posters. A lot of people don't realize. We sell um, art prints that... Uh, are almost sold out. It's almost gone. Our happily ever after tea. And uh, we just put out a variant hoodie of this in heathered purple for a kind of more retro vintage look. Like the color of the figment tea right there. This is actually, we had figment meet us yesterday, right? And we put yes. figments. And Dreamfinder. Yeah, and Figment up against figment, ours. That is Figment's <laughs> skin color. Literally his color. Uh, we his called it skin color. weathered wine, but it is just the perfect color. It's great for men. Here, Chris, put it up against you because, again, I wanted a purple that men could wear. Here, I'll have you move the uh, tat. I mean, the. Yeah, oh, you're a great hanger, Chris. Oh, yeah. No, beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah, when I show it, I do that. Yeah, so people can see. So cool. I love that shirt. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of a quick run through for those of you that were like, what? Oh, wait, show them the Arendelle LBV girl uniform. Set. Yes. <laughs> um, this was the other fan favorite. If you didn't know, the Arendelle hoodie has the awesome, literally cashmere butt up shorts and sweat pants that are jogger sets, so they're nice. They're not like heavy and uh, wide. And that's been the other popular item. We live in this. Becca Bell, Christine, Krista. Literally, we'll just like send a message. Hey, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing this. I know it sounds bad. What are you wearing, Christina? No, you know what we, you know what we, we wearing. But yeah, so now you guys get to see a little behind the scenes of our stuff. And that's only a little bit. Oh, Chris, ask him for a signature. Oh, he left. No. Oh, God. I missed Becky. He's really nice, by the way. We met him, and he was awesome. He was so funny. Who? Cool. Uh, the Brett that plays Mickey. Oh, yeah. Um, so cool. Uh, there's been so many celebrities that are really awesome. Um, no matter how crazy the line is, no matter how... Like, Ross, who um, is part of the Walking Dead uh, show, literally just filmed a show movie in LA, flew then to Orlando, filmed X-Men that's coming out, and then filming again, and you just, yeah, you never guess these people are working on no sleep. They're absolutely delightful and wonderful and fun, and um, you know, that's not always the case with celebrities. Um, so, again, the voice of Mickey Mouse, Brett, is it how to pronounce it? Iwan. Iwan? Iwan. Awesome. Really, really amazing. So kind, so sweet. And of course, we met Max, which is Jason Marsden. So awesome. I'll have you hold this so I can show them, Chris. Um, and maybe do wide angle. So you're going to have to wide in on the screen. There we okay. go. Oh, wide. So we pride ourselves everything we design to look dressed up. Okay. I think it's fun. There, there, there was lightning oh. in the area, so it's possible. Did you just wear the signature? Yes. How cool is that? There you go. So neat. Really cool, huh? Yeah. Well, Chris, what if you went and did a walk and saw some vendors? Hold the fort. There's also the pirate panel if you want to What's stand hunt? in the back. Oh, yeah, right. we just stand in the back minutes. and hold it. Pirate panel's going on right now. Do you need a break? Because I could I, I could take everyone, yeah. but I, I'm fine Some to hang water. out here. I haven't had, full right. disclosure, me, Christina, we have not had any water or ice so, so, so I don't so lose my I'll voice. I'll take everyone to the pirate panel. How about that? Yeah, just stand in the back. Yeah, I will. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Starting now, will um, we'll be the somebody wants to buy something? Uh, Good luck. <laughs> Wait, so what happened? Come, come find me. I stood at the door with Christina. Yeah, if someone was actually looking to buy something, one of you guys just run over okay, and yeah. we'll, we'll come, come find me. Okay. All right, guys, let's go. We'll see a little bit of the pirates. 
meet up. I think that's going on right now. But it looks like something just ended. So right now it says the Pirates reunion is at three. So let's see. Let's see. It's power sign. That's right, Ram. That is right. They have, uh, no, everyone that we've met has been really, really nice. Oh, is this? Here we go. I'll sit in the back.
It's what it's a yeah, reason. I like that. It's sure. Scream Actors Guild. So it's a guild of craftsmen. We make a pair of shoes. You're gonna decide: is Pirates of the Caribbean Skechers or is it Ferragamo? So the audience gets a chance to elevate or not elevate the project. And with Pirates, what happened was the studio bet on Haunted Mansion. Is the genre of Pirates, I don't know. And so the audience, our relationship to you guys, made, made this thing happen. Never forget that it's really about you and what you like that decides our fate. In fact, um, I heard recently I was talking to a guy from the studio and uh, he said that because of the failure of Haunted Mansion and another one they did, Country Bear? The, I think maybe it was, yeah. They were very close to canceling parts just before we started the show, uh, which would have been weird for all of us, I think. But, um, but they made it, and then I couldn't believe within two weeks it was one of the biggest hits ever to... Uh, it was unreal. And let's be honest, you know, we no one knew what the hell Johnny was doing. <laughs> no, no one. No one had ever seen that before. That was next level nailed it. I'm gonna uh, base a character on, uh, let's see, a rock star, and then I'm gonna mix in some Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> I mean, it's an inspired thing that we were so lucky to be a part of, you know? But what, what was um, doubly um, freaky about Johnny is that it, it, he came fully formed day one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was like he had really thought it through, and it was, he, he invented in an instant on the first take a legendary film character, which is just extraordinary. As did we. Yeah, you got to that. <laughs> no one's ever liked a thing better. But I'll be honest too, it's the building in, it's the building in of those images on that first movie, right? Of you with the pigs, which you know, I grew up in Southern California. So I was going, I, I've always wanted to be a pirate of the Caribbean, because that was my ride, you know? And I used to go to the park because my uncle was into swing dancing. And so the Carnation Plaza at the Old Kingdom, when I was a kid, used to have Count Basie, the great swing bands, and it was happening. And so that was the first place where my uncle, in my life, when I was a kid, be back by six. And it was the days of the e-tickets. You still have the ticket book, you know? And so to live a kid's dream and to be sitting here right now, representation of you can manifest a childhood dream, you know? And uh, to have it all come together like that, that is the alchemy that the artist lives for. Just get out of the way and let, let the magic happen. And that's kind of what getting all, I mean, I'm like, they couldn't find short ball and crazy in London. No, they and couldn't, then, yeah. We looked really hard, but. Uh, <laughs> Oh, shush. 
<laughs> but you really don't got no short and crazy on me. But that was, you know, it's, that's what it takes sometimes, right? They couldn't find short, I said they couldn't find short, bald, and crazy in London. That was my break. And then, you know, the line that got me the movie wasn't, hello, Bobby. <laughs> it was two lines after in the scene. So I'm in, I'm in there with Gore, I've done an audition, made it through the first to have a call back with him in his office, and I'm the first actor to go in, because I was early, I was way early, and I thought for maybe I was the only actor for the part. And then 10 dudes were like, hey, you're better than me, you're famous, and they show up, and I go in first, I'm doing my thing, Gore's got this little camera, he's auditioning us, and he's looking on this little, first little mini DVD thing, and it gets to the part of the scene when, um, She goes, parlay, and I'm like, what? And it was the what. He said, that's it, that's my guy. Cause, I'm, Cause I could play stupid well. <laughs> it was just, honestly, actor-wise, it was a beat in the scene that I never even fucking thought of. Part of my <laughs> you know, I put all my eggs in the end, yeah, and all the stinky, on the Ray B pirate guy, you know? I'm a funny rapist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, but it's the fact, movie acting, what makes us all memorable in our performances from an A to Z is the ability to say one thing with your eyes while your mouth is saying something different. So Patel is saying what when in his eyes it's like, how the heck does she know about our special code? And that, that to Gore was like, I, that layers that moment. That sets up the fact that she's gonna be king of the pirates at the end of the movies. That sets up that she's already got the gold necklace and that she, in fact, is the most badass character in this world. I tell people that all the time. Like, it's Elizabeth Spark. Yeah. It was always about this little girl. It's that's her like, story. Yeah, she's a pirate. So that's Mark. Who is it? <laughs> Mom, I'll buy you later. I mean, comedy is always dangerous business. The secret to comedy is dead sincerity. Yes. Right? You never play the laugh, right? And uh, it was lucky that I, you know, my, I'm a th I trained in the theater. I love playing the scenes. I love being an actor. And so whenever I audition, I sh I, even if I don't get the job, I know that it's my chance to show who I am. And then the casting director's job is to remember the people she doesn't cast and find, oh, that guy was great, but not right for this one. I'm gonna get him in. And that's the difference between the pro and say the, the newer person that comes along. I know I'm not gonna get every gig, but I'm always gonna try and go in there and leave my mark. You are auditioning <coughs> to be invited to audition ladies. Yes, sir. How does this game be lost? Awesome? Um, well, I was, uh, I, I was, uh, having a birthday party in my, on my uh, back garden. And um, somebody said to me, when are you supposed to go to an audition today? And I said, I said, yeah, but it's an American movie. I go up for all the time and I never get them. I said, but you've got to, you know, give yourself a chance. You might. I said, well, look, I've had a bottle of wine now. I'm a bit tipsy. <laughs> and, uh, and she said to me, well, you're going to play a pirate. It doesn't really matter how drunk you are. <laughs> so, um, so she took me along, she drove me there, and th th there was just a message, Gore wasn't there, um, there was a message saying, tell a story. And so I, I told the pirate story, and they offered me the job the next day. Um, so it was, it was absolutely extraordinary. I mean, I was that close to not bothering going. Do you remember, do you remember the story? I've never heard this one. Do you remember the story? Just make it up. I, 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 think, I, I think he wanted me to talk about sea turtles. And so it was a sea turtles. Yeah, start riffing on the hair of the back of the seat. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, well, I'm just going to say, that is one of the other stories. They, they, when we did get greenlit, right? I mean, the pirate genre had been long dead. dead. Um, the, what was that, Randy Harlan, the Jimmy Davis? Cutthroat Island. Island. Right, didn't do great. Dave Bailey, got, God rest his soul, was in there. Yeah. Um, so Ted and Terry, our writers, they said, okay, we're only getting one crack we're gonna throw every gag we got into the first movie. Yeah. 
never thinking they were going to get another bite of the apple. And then they had to re-engineer all those jokes, like sea turtles. It's like, oh God, we got to make that work again. And that's when Johnny was like, escape sea turtle back in the thing, or whatever it was. Next level, though. And uh, that brings my other question. Uh, a very common question I'm sure you've been asked always comes up. You can always know it's going to be a success that's being made. I always like to parlay that into when did you begin to realize that first Did he just was say parlay again? <laughs> When did you each, for you individually, when did you realize that this is really exceeding expectations and finding a cult fandom? Well, well, well for me, it was um, when my agent did the deal. Um, he said, I've, I've asked for a, a little extra money if this film makes some more money. He said, uh, no film has ever made that much money, so don't expect to see it. It's just something we'll do. I got it in two weeks. So I thought, this film is done. And then it was, wasn't long before we got the call for, uh, to do the next two together. We did them back to back. So that was quite extraordinary. We actually, when we started, uh, well, it's funny because I, I hadn't seen Lee in a while and all of a sudden I get a call from Penny Rose, who's a costume designer. She's like, Monty, uh, can you come down to the, uh, get a fitting? And I'm like, Penny? And she's like, yes, Monty, it's Penny Rose. And I, I go, I'll pay you for what? She goes, Monty, have they not called you? Said, well, for what? She goes, they're doing two more Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm like, I, I think all she heard was <laughs> And I, I get to the hotel and you go in the room and there's me and then we just knew. And the funny thing is, we did two and three back to back, but we actually shot three without a script because there would be scenes Gore would be like, oh, this would be great to have a crack in on, on this beach. Yeah. And they would go and panic and come back and, you know, the guys would make it up. And, you know, they're, they're walking out nothing. They're just looking at the phone or a set, CGI. But, yeah, it was, it was just amazing the things that Gore and, and, and various all those guys were. Well, I mean, honestly, like, we're, it's a team sport movie making, right? It's one thing. We get a lot of the credit because we're the guys in front of the camera, but there's a thousand people on pirates behind the camera. And so... I think we know as actors that we do it for the thousand behind the camera. We want that crew guy to be proud of wearing a pirate shirt, you know, and that's what happened. When I knew it was a hit, I'll tell you when I knew it was a hit. It was pretty early on, actually. Uh, I didn't have that in my deal, and I should have fired my agent, Kevin, because I knew it was um, I was just lucky to have a job. Um, no, but it was the fact that in those days, so we're talking, was that 2003? Um, studios would would mess up. I, I'm the worst. At, I throw in that swear words all the time. But the, the studio would screw up their own project by overselling it, like to Taco Bell for toys before the movie ever came out. And I had a I knew in my brain for maybe one or two years before that that any time a movie came out already pre marketed, it was a flop, right? So we didn't have any of that. And so I knew when we were a hit, when that has to be the greatest pirate I've ever seen, turned into that McDonald's commercial. And that was within the first month. At the time, Nikki D was probably the most powerful, uh, you know, kind of one of the bigger corporations in the world, and they jumped on the train. The studio is always going to try and sell it to recoup their money early on, get you in there for a taco, get a little free toy. But if you don't know who the characters are, why do you want the toy, right? So, it's a perfect example of they don't even know what the hell they're doing all the time. They, I mean, they didn't know what Johnny was doing, right? They, didn't, they, wanted, they were disturbed by the fact that they didn't know, you know? And the trust that Bruckheimer had in all of us and in the filmmaking, Gore had the ring come out when we first started shooting. Prior to The Ring being the number one movie uh, for two or three weeks in a row in October of that year, the producers were there every day, all day, watching every shot. As soon as he had a number one movie in the can, those dudes were on to the next project because they knew they had the right guy helming the film. So you got to get a lot of things right. And sometimes what it really needs is the reviews. Don't forget too that in those days there were very few to live, uh, multi multiplexes. 
So showing changed. The fact that our movie was too long, two hours 45, robbed the movie theaters of an extra screening, right? Costing theater owners even more money. So what they did when Pirates 2 came out, now suddenly we have seven screens in a movie theater. I don't know that for the young people here, prior to that, if a movie, if a triplex was a big movie place and the theaters were giant, they weren't tiny little cinemas, right? Pirates was the very first movie to play on six screens in one movie theater. So we started that with Dead Man's Chest. Prior to that, it would just be one screen for that movie, one screen for that. And these were digitals. This was film. It, it was film, too. Yeah. Brought in. Yeah, there's another thing I'd like to say about that. What, uh, what happened over the 20 years um, was, apart from changes in the way they're shown, the way they're shot, and anybody will tell you what's a marvel now that um, a lot of the joy of filmmaking has been taken away by green screen. You know, back in the day when we wanted to split a ship in half, we split a ship in half. Yeah. 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 And now, uh, you know, now they show you a picture and say it's going to look like this. And you go, okay, great, I'll wander around this green room and, and see what I can summon up. Yeah, it does so, take a little, I mean, there's nothing like being on location. Yeah. It's like no acting required. Like we were in this, uh, we were, remember in the uh, Maelstrom in, in, in the third movie, the final sequence, right? We're in an airplane hangar. We have, we're on two giant ships that are on gimbal rigs, which basically means they rock back and forth to simulate the ocean. There's like 500 wind machines. There's a full rain system. There's all these explosions gonna happen. And they go just stand on the deck of the ship and pretend you're in a hurricane. I was like, there's no acting required. <laughs> Just standing there for one second, you're in a hurricane. And, and that's all credit to Jerry Bruckheimer, the legendary Golden Age producer. Um, I mean, he, he really tells a story. He gives the players the tools, and we were very, very lucky, especially, like, say, on the, I would say more so on the second and the third, because the first one was shot a lot in Hollywood. But we were on location for pretty much everything. Two and three had a real black pearl built. It was an actual ship to sail. Um, and I did Waterworld. I know a lot about making movies on the water, and it's 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 a complex deal. And when, in the first movie, when we were working on the barges, it was a bit of a cluster because turning around, you did tugboats, reversing the shot. It was a big ordeal of time wasting. And the second movie, it was just the guy drove it with a joystick. They took a cargo ship, cut it at the waterline, and built the pearl around it. So it was like a twin diesel rocket ship of a pirate ship. And then, then we would take boats out. Our, our trailers would be on a barge in the middle of the sea. You take the speedboat to work. Uh, yeah. And then you, and when you wrap, it's sunset, and you're going 50 knots across the bay. And, Unreal. Celebrities coming out like one year. Oh, Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett, and then there was another time Jerry's coming out. And I'm a huge hockey guy, being from Detroit. And I'm like, this shit, that's Chris Chelios. And then, not only really that, but here comes this rookie of liquid Chris Chelios. And it's uh, um, Crosby. Jimmy Crosby. Oh. This guy's huge, right? I'm like, okay, well, good luck. Uh, back to the Detroit Red Wings over here. Yeah. Jerry was big hockey. Yeah, Jerry has like a, an arena in Tennessee where he invites a lot of like former and even guys today in the NHL. He's, he's close to 80, right? He skates and he plays hockey. He he's kind of like Putin. He does score a lot of goals. <laughs> like when they, you know, Putin plays hockey and suddenly he's like, eight goals for Vladimir. Yeah, who's going to hit Vladimir? Same thing with Jerry Bruckheimer. I know it's. No one's smoking that dude in the boards. So, one more for me, and I'll jump into the audience. Uh, for each of you, what was the craziest day you had on a pirate set? Every I single know. one. <laughs> Which is fair. Uh, well, there's, sadly, there's one, um, it's on the back of a, uh, the DVD, too. Uh, Kevin and I were in the air for quite a bit of it in the cage, and I was not great. Even though I'm a stunt guy, for some reason I still get motion sickness. 
And trust me, I plastered the black pearl with, with barf. But a lot of guys did, until we got a hold of that pony, and then it was like, you do your acting, and then you'd see me and Leah and everybody else. Okay, get up. And we're, you know, but it was great, but we're doing this bone cage thing, and I'm. It's one thing to go back and forth, but this thing's on a single wire, right? And it starts spinning like a, like a pocket watch. And I'm like, all right, get me down, get me down, I'm gonna puke. But what was funny was we, we were doing it over this blue screen, and uh, and as as they let him down and let him off, I heard about four voices shouting, "Not on the blue screen!" <laughs> They didn't want to see vomit dripping down what would be the side of the mountain. <laughs> so then, and so I get, I get up. They're like, no, 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 we're just gonna be some more takes. And we're like, no, get it down. He's gonna puke. So they lower me down, and the thing literally, any one of us could have dropped out through the hole. We were all really bracing ourselves. But if you wanted to jump out, you could have jumped out. So I literally jumped out and ran for the corner. And I get behind the screen, I'm thinking, oh, yes. And all of a sudden, I, I feel something behind me. And there's Gore's like, oh. So the camera now goes up and with the <laughs> 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 And hey, I look really, I wasn't feeling great. And I had drank three of those purple games. <laughs> and past service is, we, are, we had the bomb, didn't we? The best guest. But his brownies were to die for. And I had four of those big fucking brownies. And it was just like, Rrrr! And it's on the goddamn DVD. And there were brownies and somebody, and somebody whispered in my ear, how can you have so much barf inside it? <laughs> he barf got more barf than he looks like. <laughs> Thank God I wasn't in that sequence. I mean, there's, listen, there were so many wild ass days on the movie, to be honest. But I mean, the typical typical story would be like this. We're doing the scene where me and Mackenzie are, are in the robo with the dog at the beginning of the second film, right? And we've just done the whole thing. I'm like, you, you know you can't read. What's the bottle? You can't even try it. And then, like, the dog, let's cut into him. Must have seen a catfish. And, the, and, the, and the, the dog jumps out, starts paddling, and we're like, what an idiot. And then we wipe out, right? So the dinghy weighed about 800 pounds. So all the rest of the action in the movie, we're doing. I mean, this is one thing you gotta understand. When they, when they say that the actor does stunts, that's not really always true. The actor always does the action. Anytime you can't see the dude's face, it's not the dude, it's his double. Except. Well, except when you're a real double. I do all my own stunts. So we have the piece where the boat flips. We have the piece where I'm going like, must have seen a catfish. And then we need the piece where me and Mackenzie are drowning and then we get to shore. So Gore's like, this is a separate place. The water is so gnarly. I lived at the beach my whole life. I know what a rip tide is. It was the most massive rip you've ever seen. He's like, get out there um, and, and drown for me. And I'm, like, I'm like, hold on, Gore. I got Larry Rippin Kroger on the, on the jet ski. Who's on, I, I was a smoker in Waterworld, so I'm one of Dennis Hopper's dudes. I'm from the, this is my buddy from Waterworld. He's got my back. You always want to love your stunties because they're going to save your life. You always want to be nice to your safety guys on the crew because they're going to put you out when you catch on fire accidentally, right? So I was lucky the guys like me. I'm like, I'll drown for you, but I got a question. I'm a hell of an actor, Gore. How are you really gonna know if I'm acting like I'm drowning or really drowning, right? So he goes, I don't know that I really care. <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he goes, in fact, Odell, our medic, he goes, Odell, yes boss. Hey, you can revive these guys up until four minutes. No boss, seven minutes. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I gotta go drown for 5.5. <laughs> Um, I didn't know Gore subscribed to the James Hammer in School of... Oh, for real? When the, in, in P3, when me and Mackenzie were upside down on the mask, um, we're, we're literally tied to the mask. Okay, we're upside down. We did many pieces. There's a mask that flips this way. They do it in little sections. But there's a wide shot where we're literally tied to the mask, 
The rest of the cast is all laid out like they've been buried under the water. Yeah, big accident. Yeah, we had a, a stuntman that got his head skull crashed by the water when they were shooting. That was a dangerous sequence. We're about, we're about this high up off the, the deck, and stunt guys, there's, everybody's always trying to be the guy that needs to be the first one in or get the best shot. But the guy was not doubling him, but doubling Barbosa, and did the first time, it was great, and we're talking um, one of those big garbage bags, probably as long as this room, full of seawater. And it would be above us, and it would be like, okay, on three, we're gonna go. It'd be three, two, one. And then we would all jump as the cameras took all that water and all the So literally, it was just pushy. And he went a little bit too early. Are you staying here? Shoved them all over to the side of the boat. And on the side of the boat, Sorry, guys. We're heading back. We'll come back in a little bit. Now you look awesome. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's pretty neat to see that. And also, it's neat to see it like with not a ton of people. So you feel like they're actually speaking with you more so than anything else. House of Mouse Expo. It's been really fun here, guys. It really has. We've really enjoyed it. Some uh, fun, interesting things to do. See different people. Interact with some people as well. We're live back. Oh my goodness. A big thank you to Christina. So we had a bunch of people run over here. Yes, that so I had crazy. to run back awesome. and help. Guys, well, they're starting to like close things up. And we are still going. I don't know if that's our cue. Um, now, because this was a kind of not normal live stream, hopefully it was still really cool, um, what we're going to do is do a uh, private live stream, of course, for Patreon. We do it every week. But we're also going to do another live stream for you guys this week. So yes. keep an eye out. There's new things out like the Easter egg display, um, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So we're going to oh, do another wrong one, one this week. Um, I don't know the date. I'm thinking Thursday, maybe. So keep an eye out Wednesday. Um, we'll do a notification on here in the community page. And if you're part of the LBBTV Clubhouse, keep an eye out on the community tab. You actually get your own special page. And we're going to post something special there. And Patreon, keep an eye out for a very special video with some of the movie stars. Uh, this was awesome. Did you guys have fun? Uh, again, we apologize. There's been some issues with the new phone. And we tested out a new gimbal today. Yes. Oh, here, Chris, come this way. He Sorry. does need our Maui shirt. Literally, he needs our he Maui needs, shirt. He needs it. He needs, it. he needs a shirt. Yeah. Um, I can't think of you know, Again, I'm sorry that the comments and the, um, the phone today is a little wonky. We're trying a new phone and a new uh, gimbal, and it, we might have to return them. Yes, um, at, le at least the gimbal. That's for sure. That's going to be returned. Um, but again, big thank you to Christina, who's a future live streamer extraordinaire. Oh, no. <laughs> She's amazing, guys. We can't thank her enough, and she's been such an awesome. Oh, she's running away. She's running away. Oh, she's amazing. Um, and guys, I can't think enough. Well, Chris, do you want to selfie? We're gonna tell everybody to see real soon. Oh, okay. Because we're gonna see him again this week. We are. And Monday again, Patreon reminder: Zoom cocktail hour. And uh, I'll put the link tonight of the Zoom cocktail link. So get ready. Seven, I think thirty it was, or seven forty-five. I forget. You'll see, you'll see. But guys, on that note, thanks for going on an adventure. This is the first for us. Yeah. So did you guys have fun seeing the panels? And let us know in the comments if you guys loved Winnie the Pooh, or uh, Launchpad, the Pirates. How was the Pirates? I missed it. It was cool. Oh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was interesting. They thought that guy was as <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. So I'm going to have to watch the replay of my own channel. Guys, this has been so awesome. And for those of you visiting, I can't thank you enough. And 